Here's a red admiral. Sorry, that's Nelson. Here's a red admiral butterfly. They don't get their name from anything to do with the sea, but from a slight change to the original 18th century name, Red Admirable. Red admirals are one of our most well-known butterflies and are familiar visitors to gardens throughout the British Isles, including the Orkneys and Shetland. They can be found almost anywhere, the seaside, urban areas and the tops of the highest mountains. They are unmistakable with their velvety black wings, intersected by striking red bands. Red admirals are migrants, but due to sightings of individuals and immature stages in the first few months of the year, especially in southern England, means that they are now considered as resident. It's thought that the resident population is only small and relies on getting topped up with migrants arriving in spring every year from Central Europe. Sadly, most individuals are unable to survive our winters. From mid-August, some begin to move south and a partial re-migration takes place. On occasions, large numbers can be seen gathering along the south coast, preparing to make a journey across the channel. Their eggs are laid on the upper surface of young nettles. Gatekeepers, also known as hedge browns, are very common, often seen along hedges where blackberry or bramble is flowering. The name may refer to how often they're seen near field gates, or maybe to keepers of toll gates, who were men that spent their lives beside the road 150 years ago, when Britain's roads were more peaceful and floral than they are now. Even today, gatekeepers are seen along country lanes. Males have a conspicuous band of black scent scales on their forewing. Found as far north as Cumbria and Yorkshire, in the past 30 years, populations have increased and their range has expanded, with several new colonies being established in urban areas. They can be found in open woodland rides, sea cliffs, scrubby downlands and heaths, providing their shelter and abundance of tall vegetation. They're a sort of relaxed butterfly, despite having a dancing flight, though it's unhurried. They rarely wander far outside their colony which may vary in size from a few dozen to many thousand individuals in suitable habitats in the south. Both sexes love basking in the sun with their wings spread. Gatekeepers often feed in the company of meadow browns, but can easily be distinguished as meadow browns are larger and duller with a single white pupil in their eye spots of their forewings. The underside of gatekeepers is more rich in colour and has an even row of white points. Females lay or drop their eggs among grasses, including cocksfoot, meadow grasses, timothy, common couch and fescues.